are numbers ranging from 10 all the way to 99. Now, let's talk about the standard algorithm for addition. What is the standard algorithm for addition? The standard algorithm is basically when we line up our numbers using their place value and start adding in the ones place and regroup as needed. When do we need to regroup? We need to regroup once we add the digits in a place value and the total is greater than nine, making it a two digit number. We regroup it and carry over to the next place value. Are you ready to try this new strategy out? Let's go! Okay, besties, we have our first example, which is 28 plus 37. And we're gonna use this standard algorithm to figure this out. So step number one is to line up our numbers using their place value. So I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite this problem vertically. So 28 plus 37, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and I like to draw a line straight down the middle to separate our ones and our tens place. Boop! Okay, so step number two says add the ones place. So I'm gonna add in the ones place. So I have eight ones plus seven ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw this out so you can see how we're gonna regroup. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw eight ones. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw seven ones. Okay, so now I'm gonna see if I can make a 10. So I already know that I have eight ones here. So eight, nine, 10. <gasps> ding, 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 I found a 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and circle that off here. Boop, I found a 10. And how many ones do I have left over? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I have one 10 and five ones. So eight plus seven is equal to 15. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and write 15 right here, 15. Now, can I go ahead and write 15 in the ones place? No, I cannot write two digits living in the ones place. So I'm gonna go ahead and write, I'm gonna bring the five down to the ones place because there's five ones living in the ones place. And that 10 that we created goes and lives in the tens place. So I'm gonna put plus one 10, which was this one. All right, so what's one ten plus two tens? Three tens, good job. Three tens plus three tens is six tens. Awesome job. I'm gonna write six tens in the tens place. So our total or our sum is 65. 28 plus 37 is equal to 65. Okay, besties, let's go ahead and do example number two. Okay, so for example number two, we have 41 plus 49, and we're trying to find the total or the sum. So step number one is we're gonna line up our numbers using their place value, lining them up vertically. 41 plus 49. And I'm gonna draw a line straight down the middle just to separate the ones in the tens place. Boop, okay? And step number two says to add in the ones place. So we have one plus nine, which is equal to 10. Good job, 10. Uh-oh, can I write 10 in the ones place? No, I can't write two digits in the ones place. So I'm gonna write 10 here to the side. 10, so you can see. And this is in the ones place, and this is in the tens place. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring the zero down to the ones place. And that 10 that we created goes up and lives in the tens place. Boop. Plus one 10. All right, and so now that I regrouped, which was step number three, step number four is to add the tens place. So what's one 10 plus four tens? Five tens. 
Five tenths plus four tenths is nine tenths, giving me a total or a sum of 90. Awesome job. So 41 plus 49 is equal to 90. Okay, Bessie, so I showed you two examples, so now it's your turn to practice with me. So go ahead and grab a paper, a pencil, or a whiteboard, and let's go! It's Bestie practice time. Feel free to pause the video and work ahead of me or work alongside me for more guided practice. All right, Bestie, so for number one, we have 38 plus 34. And we're going to use a standard algorithm to figure this out. So step number one is to line up the numbers using their place value. So I'm going to rewrite this problem vertically. 38 plus 34. And then drawing a line straight down the middle to separate the ones from the tens place. All right, step number two, add in the ones place and regroup. So I have eight plus four. I'm going to go ahead and draw eight ones, boop, and four ones. All right, so now I'm going to see if I can make a ten. So I know I already have eight ones, nine, ten. Yay, I was able to make a ten. I'm going to group those together. How many ones do I have left over? Two, so the two go lives in the ones place, and the ten I created goes up and lives in the tens place. So plus one ten. Now step three is to add in the tens place. What's one plus three plus three? <gasps> seven tens. Great job, besties. So my total is seventy-two. Okay, besties. So for example number two, we have fifty-nine plus sixty-one, and step one is to rewrite the problem vertically. So 59 plus 61, line straight down the middle. Step one is done. Now step two is add in the ones place and regroup. So I have nine plus one. I know that that's equal to 10, but I'm gonna go ahead and draw it out so you can see how we're gonna group it together to make the 10. So I drew nine ones and then one one, and I made a group and that's a 10. Do I have any ones left over? No, so I write a zero in the ones place. And the 10 I created goes and lives up in the tens place. So I write plus one ten. What's one ten plus five tens? Six tens, and what's six tens plus six tens? 12 tens, so now I have three digit number in the ones place, tens place, and the hundreds place, giving me a total of 120. Okay, Bestie, so for number three, we have 19 plus 18. So I'm going to start off with lining up my numbers. 19 plus 18, I'm rewriting it vertically, keeping the ones with the ones place and the tens with the tens place. And then step two is to add in the ones place and regroup. So I'm going to go ahead and do nine plus eight. You can use whatever addition strategy you feel comfortable with, including drawing circles. I'm going to use the near double strategy because 9 is near to 8. What's 8 plus 8? 16 plus one more is 17. I'm going to write that to the side and label my ones place and my tens place. All right, I'm going to bring the 7 down to live in my ones place and the 10 that we created goes up and lives in the tens place. So what's 1 plus 1 plus 1? Three tens, giving me a total of 37. All right, besties, last problem, number four. So we have 77 plus 38, and I'm writing my numbers vertically. And I'm going to go ahead and do step number two, which is add in the ones place. So I have 7 plus 8. What is 7 plus 8? Hmm. 15. I use a near double strategy for that one. So I'm going to label my ones place and my tens place. And then I'm going to regroup. So I'm going to bring the 5 down to the 1's place. And the 10 that I created goes up and lives in the 10's place. Plus 1, 10. Now I'm ready for step 3, which is to add in the 10's place. I can go ahead and add 7 plus 3, which is 10. Plus 1 more is 11 10's. So now I'm going to go ahead and write 11. And now I have a 3-digit number. I have a digit living in the 1's place, 10's place, and the 100's place giving me a total or a sum of 115. Awesome job, besties. That's the end of our math lesson. Thank you so much, Math Bestie, for learning with me today. Make sure you keep on practicing to make math easy peasy.